In Star Wars Legends, there was a force ability known as Transfer Essence that allowed a being to move their consciousness from one body into another. It was the source of controversy in some storylines, which I will cover, but I'm also going to cover a similar power we've seen in the new canon. Transfer Essence was used by many of the ancient Sith, but Darth and Dedu is noted for including the ritual in his holocron. He taught that attempting essence transfer would result in any spirit's current body to be consumed and disintegrated by the dark side. So if the ritual failed and one was not able to pass into another suitable vessel, their soul would be lost to chaos forever. That's why some Sith Lords chose to pass their spirits into inanimate objects like talismans or, in Exarchun's case, a temple. Transferring into another body was much trickier. If the target had a strong enough will, they could expel the invading spirit. It was nearly impossible to overcome a conscious mind already in a body. Darth Bane tried and failed to transfer his mind into his apprentice Darth Xana. There are hints in the book that Bane was successful, but the author of the story, Drew Carpician, has stated that it did indeed fail and that Xana remained herself. Darth Sidious got around this problem by cloning himself and transferring his spirit into a vacant clone. He was so talented at the technique that he even used it on other people. He cloned the Death Star's chief designer, Bevelimilisk, so that he could torture him, kill him, pass his consciousness into an identical body, and then have him continue work on the second Death Star. There are more examples in Legends, but you get the idea. Transfer your consciousness into another person or object. So, have we seen anything like that in the new canon? Yes, we have seen something similar, but not exactly the same. Dr. Silo was one of the scientists that helped develop Darth Vader's suit. He also performed many cybernetic upgrades on himself, including a network that made him immortal. If he were to die, his quote-unquote consciousness would be downloaded into a clone of himself. I say quote-unquote because I'm not sure we can call what he has consciousness. He mentions being programmed and built, so it's hard to say what parts of him are organic and what's manufactured. The point is, he retains his memories and personality between multiple bodies. So it's similar to Transfer Essence in theory, but not practice. It's technological rather than spiritual. To jump back to Palpatine for a moment, the book Aftermath Life Debt tells of rumors that the Emperor lived multiple lives and could cheat death. The same excerpt also mentions his personal flagship, the Eclipse, which had gone missing. Both the Eclipse and Palpatine's ability to transfer essence were included in the Legends comic Dark Empire, so it's likely their mentions in Life Debt are simply nods to Legends fans, but it is possible we could see them again. Personally, I really hope we don't. The idea of transfer essence is an interesting one, to be sure, but when it's overused, it can cheapen a story. In Palpatine's case, his continued return cheapened the sacrifice made by Darth Vader in Return of the Jedi. It's honestly one of the things I disliked the most in Legends. So I really hope the new canon learns from that mistake. Keep Palpatine dead. I think the ability could be used to terrifying effect at some point, and I'm not opposed to its existence in the new canon, just keep it away from Palpatine. But what do you think of the ability? Would you like to see it used more prominently in canon? Let me know in the comments. If you haven't already, please like this video, subscribe to the channel, follow me on Twitter, Instagram, and Facebook, and consider checking out my Patreon page. As always, thanks for watching, and may the Force be with you.